What is up guys? Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. What is up guys? Fahir here and in this short tutorial we are going to take a look at how can we create that infinite background effect using parallax scrolling. So let's just dive in and what I have here is a background that has as you can see 1920 by 1080 which is the size, width and the height and I have my script. Now we're not gonna get to the script right away. The first thing that we need to do is inside of the hierarchy here, I'm gonna right click, go under 3D object and then create a quad. So again, right click in the hierarchy, go 3D object and create a quad and voila, here it is. So we have a quad. Now we don't see it, it's right here. So right here and I'm gonna move it a little bit backwards. Actually, where do I need to put it so that it's visible? Right here, so negative nine. So now it's visible. What we need to do with our quad is create a material because a quad is a 3D game object. So I'm gonna right click here inside of the project and I'm gonna create and I'm gonna create a material and I'm gonna call it BG. So simply call it BG. And as you can see here, we have these options and one particular option that I'm gonna highlight with my highlight tool is this one right here, this albedo, albedo, however this is pronounced, I don't, I, I don't know, so I don't know. You probably know that better than me. Anyways, here, what we need to do is drag and drop this texture. So this texture, this image that I have, drag and drop it right here where I just pointed with this arrow. So select it and drag and drop it right here in this albedo, albedo, whatever. And now we need to drag and drop the material on the quad. So drag and drop, select the material, click on it, left mouse click, drag it on the quad and release it, bam. So you see we have a nice little background but that will not do because we need to do the following. Let me just go in the 2D mode and now I'm gonna take the quad and resize it. Select the four tools, so you see these five tools at the top left corner. We have the hand, we have the cross, we have these arrows. Anyways, you want the last or next to the last. So second on the right side, so rec tool. And I'm gonna resize it like this, so put it here for the quadi quadi and here and voila, we're good to go. So basically here I'm gonna say 18 on X, 10 on the Y axis. So 18 X for scale and Y is 10 and this is what we have for our quad. And now this is where our BG comes to play, this BG scroll script. Basically it's an empty script as you can see, we don't have anything here. Before we do anything, just drag and drop it, attach it on the quad itself. And I'm gonna go here and what do we need? Well, we need a public float. This is going to be our scroll underscore speed. By default, I'm gonna say 0.1F. And we also need a reference to this material, but this material is inside of this mesh renderer component that is attached on the quad. So we need to get that component. So right here, below our float scroll speed, I am gonna create a private mesh renderer and I'm gonna call it mesh underscore renderer. Inside of the start function, we're gonna say mesh render is equal to get component, mesh render component. You can do this also in the awake function, it does not matter. And inside of the update function, simply we're gonna create float x, which is equal to time dot time multiplied by 0.1 or actually excuse me by the scroll speed so multiplied with the scroll speed and I need to select here scroll speed finally it works thank you so time dot time multiplied with the scroll speed and the next thing that we need to do is simply call here a vector to offset is equal to new vector to x for the x zero for the y so here we have zero and right here what we need to do now, so let me just scroll this down a little bit. We need to type here our mesh render, so we need to call it and we need to say dot shared material dot set texture offset and here we need to pass two parameters. The first one is in quotes underscore main text comma offset. What the hell is going on? What am I doing? 
why would I not explain anything and you can kill me or whatever you want to do to me, but I'm going to explain to you what we are doing right now. As you can assume here, we have the scroll speed variable, which is the speed by, well, how much we're going to scroll the background. The mesh renderer is the one who has the material that we are going to use to scroll the background. What do I mean by that? Pay attention when I select the BG material here, we have this offset, as you can see, we have the offset and I can move the offset and you see when I move it, you see what is happening? And what am I doing? Where is that offset? Let me quickly take the highlight tool back. So select the BG here and then you have the offset here. So you have the offset X and the Y. So we can simply change these values and it will offset the background. It, it's the same for X and the Y. So you can do that on both sides, as you can see here. And basically what I'm doing in the code is just what you saw, but I'm doing this in the code. So here we have the float X. We're using time multiplying by the scroll, scroll speed. What is time dot time? You see here, time at the beginning of this frame. This is basically the time when we start our game. It will start counting when we start our game. So we are multiplying that value with the scroll speed value to get to the X value here. And we can simply pass that as a parameter for vector two. Now, this is for the X. If you want to scroll on the Y, you can well create here another one for the Y and paste it here. But since we are going to do it on the X and we need to call mesh render share material set texture offset, it will basically get the material, the BG material. And you see here set texture offset, it will set this offset right here. And this main text, this is built in and in order to get that texture, the main one, we need to type it like this with a string. So as a string, basically. So in quotes, main text, first of all, underscore, main text, capital M, capital T. If you don't type capital M, capital T, it will not work. So it needs to be like this. And then we simply pass the offset, which is our vector two for X and Y, because we have the offset on X and the Y. And let's go back in Unity and see if this actually works. So if I hit the play button, we should see now that the quad or well, it's BG is scrolling and we can change the speed because currently it's at 0.1. If we change the speed, you see it's scrolling faster. So you can use this to your advantage. For example, if your player is running faster in your game, you can scroll the background faster, so on and so forth. You have more better ideas than I do for what you can use this. And again, if you want to use this for the Y axis, it works both ways. So simply here we can say zero and here we can paste X, but just imagine that this is Y because this is the Y axis. And if I go here, we will test it out. If I hit the play button, we will see that the Y axis is now scrolling. It does not look pretty, but well, of course you're gonna create your background to look pretty. And voila, we are good to go. So this is how you can do it. Simply use the float X multiplied with the time, time, time dot time that is, multiply that with the scroll speed, assign it back to the X, put it here to the, well, X value of our vector two, assign it in the set texture offset. And let me test it one more time so that you can see that I'm not lying to you. And by the way, when we do this scrolling, it will keep that value there. What am I saying here? What do, what do I mean by this? Pay attention to the Y value. It's not set at zero, as you can see. It's not set at zero. You can either do this manually or you can simply go back in the script. And what we can do here is we can create a private, actually vector two, and this is the saved offset like this. And when we get here, our mesh render, we can get our saved offsets. We can say save offset is equal to mesh render, but basically our own, not this one. So mesh render dot shared material dot get texture offset. And we need to paste here the underscore main text and we will get the offset for that, well, texture. And in void on disable, and on disable is called when we quit the game. So here what you can do is you can call this line of code to set the offset to the saved one. So this one right here. 
And next time when we do this, it will not save on the material. If I go back in Unity and I'm gonna select the material and I'm gonna put the X back or actually the Y back to zero. And if I hit the play button, and notice now we are scrolling. If I stop, you will see that when I select the BG, the value for X is back at zero. If I were to remove this line of code here, just this one, it will not be equal to zero and you can test that out on your own as your homework. Basically, this is how we use parallax scrolling. This is probably the easiest way that you can do it. Create a quad, create a material, attach a texture on the material, attach the material on the quad and use a script to scroll all that. Fah here here from awesomedudes.com. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications.